the LED hood brake light. As well as your red tail lights. I also have a reverse camera. And the button for the intelligent key which I'll go over in its appropriate part of the video. It also comes equipped with chrome exhaust tips. It comes equipped with chrome door handles, and this has rubber door edge guards with some black and silver pinstriping and body and chrome colored side lines. We have Nissan's two and a half liter inline four cylinder engine. This engine has been used throughout many of Nissan's products. This SV comes equipped with Nissan's intelligent key, which you can lock the vehicle, unlock it, or sound the panic alarm. You can also have your emergency key, so you can use this switch to unlock. With the intelligent key, you can keep the key in your pocket or, or anywhere on your person. And if the vehicle is unlocked, you can push this black button in once to unlock the driver's side door, or you can push it in twice in a rapid succession to unlock all the doors. I'll push it in twice for this example. And all the doors have unlocked. Now if the vehicle is unlocked, you can push this button in again to lock your vehicle. Has a graphite metallic exterior with some two-tone cloth seating. So it has a 10-way power driver's seat including the lumbar. I 
also have a manually tilting and telescoping steering wheel. As long as the intelligent key is within anywhere within the interior of the vehicle, you can twist this mechanism to start the vehicle. Driver's side windows automatic up and down, all the way to just power. You also have your power door locks and your window lock. Can also lock all wheel drive. Locking all wheel drive just means that the vehicle would normally uh, send power to the rear wheels when it needs it. But if you lock all wheel drive, it will send power to the rear wheels at all times. You can also turn on and off traction control. You also have your power mirror controls. Your fuse box. Put activated e-brake. So have your turn signal controls with your automatic headlights. So as your high beam controls. Also have your windshield wiper controls with this switch here being for the rear wiper. When the radio is on, you can use this to seek. You can use this for your hands free or to accept calls. This button is to decline an incoming call. This is to adjust the volume and change the source of the radio. You also have your cruise controls on the right hand side. And the steering wheel does tilt and telescope once you dislatch it. You have your main head unit right here. Turn on the radio. Use this to switch between different FM radios and your AM radio, as well as your XM radio. To listen to your CDs or the auxiliary. If you push it in the tuning knob, you can adjust the brace, tremble, the balance, the fade, as well as the speed volume, the aux level. Also select your category here. This one does have navigation as well. Zoom in and out. Start for position, so position, GPS information, the map setup. You can hit nav to take you to your destination, your home. Change some settings or go, go to previous destinations. And also hit setup to set up the, this whole head unit to the way you want it. For your, this is for your six different presets. It also has a six disc CD changer it's for your SD card for your maps. You have your climate controls down here, automatic. So you have your automatic for where you want the air to blow. So have your rear defrost, your front defrost, also leave it on auto. Passenger side airbag indicator, as well as a power outlet behind the shifter. So 
still got your cup holders and the couple coin holders. There's also a coin holder in the armrest. And some storage with a auxiliary port and the USB jack. Some visor. Your mirror and your vanity light off to the side. You also have a grab handle for every side of the vehicle except for the driver's side. Also has a power move. One touch automatic. Also tilts. <coughs> this button right here controls your trip computer. All this button cycles through the information center, get your average speed. Driving distance, elapsed time, range, settings, and back to your favorite time. You can scroll to enter your settings. It's changing the clock, changing your units, maintenance, alarms, your language, you set to factory settings. You have latch points for your car seat, as you can see. Also have 60-40 split folding rear seats. Let's pull on that handle. Great way to maximize your cargo room. Got some hat pockets. As well as your slide out cup holders down below. Plenty of cargo space. Have a little bit of underfloor storage. As well as a place for the spare tire. Some more extra storage.
manual passenger seat. Thank you.